morning. My name is Haig Halublian, Mayor of Crystal Lake, and I've been asked by the library to read one of my favorite children's books. This one is my favorite. It's Ferdinand, The Story of Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf. So we'll start as we, as all books start, or <laughs> most books start. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run, jump, and butt their, butt their heads together. See him? There's a turtle down here. But not Ferdinand. There's Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. There he is in a bed of flowers, enjoying himself. He had a favorite spot on a pasture under a cork tree. So in Spain, Spain has a lot of cork trees, and that's where he's going, to a cork tree. It was his favorite tree, and he would sit there in its shade all day and smell the flowers. See, the bulls are budding heads. Ferdinand just sat by the tree and watched them. Look at the corks. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. So there's mom, she has a cowbell on, and there's Ferdinand by his cork tree. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. He was happy there. His mother saw that he was not lonesome, and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. So there he is at one week old, three months old, one year old, and two years old. He's getting big, he's getting big, and he looks very, very strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick, stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. See, there's a bullfight poster. Bullfight at the stadium in Madrid. They're all looking at the, at the poster. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. And there he is again. That's what he's doing, enjoying himself. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. Look at these guys. They do have funny hats, don't they? All the other bulls ran around snorting and budding, leaping and jumping so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. So here are the men watching the bulls fighting each other. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care, so he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. And off he goes with the butterflies and the flowers. He didn't look where he was sitting. Instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Uh-oh. Well, if you are a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that's just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Uh-oh, I think he got stung. Wow, did it hurt. 
Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. Look at him go. The five men saw him and they were all shouted for joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. Look at, they're all going, yay, this is the one. Ferdinand's the one. So they took him away for a bullfight day in a cart. There he goes. He's in his cart. All these horses are going to Madrid. What a day it was. Flags were flying. Bands were playing. Like a big party. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. See all the ladies with flowers in their hair? They had a parade into the bull ring. That's the announcer blowing his horn that the bullfight is about to begin. First came the banderelles with long sharp pins with ribbons in them to stick in the bull and make them mad. Next came the picadores, who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make them even madder yet. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull. And you know who that is, don't you? It's Ferdinand. There's Ferdinand. He looks kind of scared. They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all the bandoleros were afraid of him, and the picadores were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. Look, he's sweating, scared. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring and everybody shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely ladies' hair and he just sat down quietly and smelled. Aw, see? He's smelling all the ladies' flowers. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat there and smelled. And the bandoleros were mad and the picadores were madder and the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off his cape and sword. Look <laughs> how mad they are. So they had to take Ferdinand home. <laughs> off he goes. And for all I know, he is sitting there under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. See? The end. So I hope you enjoyed the story. It is one of my favorites, and it was one of the, my daughter, Molly, and Kate's favorites when they were little. And I had this inscription written, because this is their book, and it says, Molly and Kate... Two little girls who love this bull, may you enjoy and keep this book a very, very long time. Love, Dad. And that was back in April of 1996. So that was 25 years ago. So they were very little. So anyway, have a good day. I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the story. Bye-bye.